In this video, we're going to go ahead and look at the grandson of the ANOVA analysis of variance. We're going to look at the MANOVA. Uh, the M stands for multivariate or multiple. So a MANOVA means multiple or multivariate analysis of variance. And I'm going to give you a real quick brief go run through here. So to explain the MANOVA, we got to go back to the ANOVA. Remember, the ANOVA looks for significant differences in whatever the DV is between group means. Therefore, your IV has to be a categorical variable, DV has to be a continuous variable, and in our example, we're just going to name our IV group, and our DV is sales. Sales is going to be in continuous variable. It'll either be a number or like dollars or IQ scores. Okay, so let me make something up. Okay, so I came up with an IV with four levels, categorical, nominal IV, and the four levels are different job types. So level one is a math teacher, two is police officers, three is ship's captains, and the last but not least are the Girl Scouts, and the DV is in sales, so let's just pretend they're all selling cookies, my favorite. This is the Thin Mint. Mm -mm -mm. Love them. Uh, handy tip is stick them, stick a box in the freezer. Oh yeah, they're really good frozen too. So if you can't remember these, these are the thin mints. Okay, so IV, one IV group, four levels, one DV sales. So we give them a month and we take the averages of all the math teachers that we got working on this, all the police officers and the ship's captains and the Girl Scouts. And we take an average of how many they sold of the Thin Mints, and it came out to be like this, okay? These two are different, but look at this one. Boom, she's a pro. So there's going to be an obvious significant difference somewhere in this ANOVA, right? You're going to get an Omnibus app. Now, that's not a, a big deal. But to what makes it coming up as a MANOVA Right? The difference between an ANOVA and a MANOVA is you have more than one DV. Okay? So we're going to add in, these are the peanut butter cookies, yummy, yummy. These are the Samoas. I love them. Um, not too many people do, though. So we're going to add in two more DVs. Now, are they related theoretically? Yes, of course they are, right? So these are all related and they should be strongly correlated as well, right? Or one or the other, right? But Theoretically going, you can, you can lump these together because they're all practically the same product. And we came up with the peanut butter sales. You'll notice they dropped a little from the Thin Mint. Um, and then, again, you'll get a significant difference here. But now let's look at the Samoas. Uh-oh, Chongo. Right, the Samoa didn't sell very well. That's too bad. Either the coconut ones, I really love them. Yummy, 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 yummy. So... But what your MANOVA will do, will it'll lump all these together and say, yeah, there's a significant difference in there somewhere. And it doesn't tell you where. The first, the first Omnibus F doesn't tell you where. That's when you scroll down on your SPSS box and you look at each individual level of the DVs. It'll have the DVs listed. So what you're going to get is you'll see a significant difference in the Thin Mint variable the peanut butter variable, but not in the Samoa, okay? So that's how a MANOVA works. But again, overall, the MANOVA would be significant, okay? So that's it. I'm going to let you guys go get the cookies. Arr, matey, I'm going for the Thin Mints. I'll take the peanut butter cookies. Eee. All right, I'll take the Thin Mints. You go away, bam, bam, bam. And math teachers, uh, they'll take whatever they can get their hands on. I hope that helps. MGZ out.